This is Dr. Abraham Weisfeld speaking to you on behalf of the Alliance of Concerned Jewish Canadians. As chairman of the ACJC, I want to express our best wishes for you on the Third Congress of the Party of Communists of the USA. At this time of urgent action necessary against the genocide in Gaza, against the Zionist campaign of displacement, ethnic cleansing, even annihilation of the Palestinian people in this Holocaust as justified on the basis of the one Holocaust that took place against the Jewish people in Europe by the Europeans, now being used as an excuse, as a pretext, projecting a genocidal intent upon the Palestinians and Muslims in general in order to wage a genocidal campaign against the Palestinian people in Gaza right here, right now. In this period of historic struggles, it is converging to become a critical mass for the transformation that we seek with you for socialism. We are preparing for a socialist economy to build the intercommunalist civil society. This is what many have now come to call communism. Socialism as such also includes the collective rights of the national struggles for liberation, considering that the vast majority of any given society are composed of the working or toiling classes. We can express our agreement for the solidarity that has been expressed for the self-determination of the national minorities of Donetsk and Lugansk, who have chosen to liberate themselves from the centralized nation state, which had waged a campaign of military occupation and even genocidal targeting of the civilian population. The Palestinian population is another national struggle against the bourgeois nation state of Israel which has duplicated the European disease of national chauvinism as if self-determination included the right to racism. Basically, there must be a principle of reciprocity and that any right claimed for any one nation must likewise be respected for any other people nation. Self-determination cannot be claimed in order to deny the self-determination of another. When this has been criminally implemented in Palestine since 1947, we oppose this national oppression, occupation, and siege imposed by the Zionist ideologue of the Zionist state. Zionism claims that its state represents the Jewish people as a whole, and so claims to be a Jewish state, while in actuality, the Jewish people are a majority who do not live in that state, are not citizens, and do not have a vote in its governmental elections. And yet, such governments claim to represent all Jewish people everywhere. The Jewish working class was represented by the Jewish Bund, rather, which opposed the rise of fascism and anti-Semitic pogroms since 1897 until 1917, when the pogroms were stopped by the Russian Revolution. Its 38,000 member activists were prominent in the 1905 Russian Revolution, even though the Russian Social Democratic Party broke out into one, the Russian Communist Party, which excluded the Jewish Bund from the previously federated party. Even while a centralized party formation was adept in moving the 1917 Russian Revolution to build a socialist economy, its structure became the model for the state as well, which collapsed under its own onerous weight. When we are rebuilding the communist revolutionary movement, the Jewish Bund considers itself a member of such a united front. This should apply for any other nationalities, such as the black nation of the former slave caste, as well as the first nations. Such a federation of social forces in a united front is the precondition for the socialist revolution in the first world countries, and is the prelude to an independent federated civil society by way of a constitutional assembly or constituent assembly. We look forward to a federation in North America of Turtle Island based upon the people's autonomous republics. This is our Bundes concept of national cultural autonomy as applied to all concerned. With this revolutionary perspective in mind, we congratulate you on the accomplishing the difficult organizational preconditions. And so we solidarize with the Party of Communists of the USA in his third Congress. This is Dr. Abraham Weisfeld speaking to you. 
and looking forward to our future uh, work together. Thank you very much for your attention.